Hey guys, Rob here. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video how to enable uh, telemetry with SBUS on the NACE32. This is the revision 6 board, but I think it should still work the same with the revision 5. So this is the X8R. Um, I took out the case because I wanted to make it a little bit smaller and lighter to fit inside the 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 quad frame here so basically the way i have this wired up is um, i have the from the smart port on the x8r so the smart port would be on that side i have the signal wire the signal wire is coming out of the x8r and it's going into it you need to connect it to two pins on the nase 32 so you need to connect them to pin five and six so so you got to do that first before you do anything and also you need to connect you need to make sure that the nase 32 is receiving power from the in this case power distribution board so then you can get um the telemetry be, uh, being sent back to the tyrannus Okay guys, so now I'm in clean flight, and if you connected it right, you should see the voltage right here, showing your voltage and your consumption. To set this up, you go over here to the little arrow. I'm gonna actually go to the, and if you scroll down, you have to make sure that you enable uh, VBAT and current meter, and you have to enable soft serial and telemetry. So once you do that, save. The board's gonna reboot. Now you're gonna go back up here to the little plug. You're going to, now this is gonna show up, soft serial one and two. You're gonna, under soft serial one, you're gonna make sure that this says smart port. Okay, and then you're gonna save. And it's gonna restart the board again. So the SLI command that you need to do is set the space telemetry underscore inversion equals on. You gotta make sure that you're running the latest version of clean flight because if it's not working, then it means that you're using an old version of clean flight. So we'll enter that and it says inversion, uh, telemetry inversion set to on. Okay guys, last step, almost there. Now you need to make sure you go to your telemetry screen So under my telemetry, back like in the old with uh, CPPM before you used to set the voltage here, but that's not how you do it anymore with SBUS and especially on the new firmware of the Tyrannus. Um, you need to scroll all the way down, and in order for you to get the voltage on the on the Tyrannus screen, is the you have to scroll down to screen one. And you need to make sure that you select VFAS, and that's going to show your voltage on your screen. And then I also put RSSI, uh, current, ACCY, and ACCX will show you the angle that the quad is in. Battery is just for the battery of the Tyrannus. So if you make sure you set that, you exit, exit back to the main screen. Now if you hold the page button, press it again, now you see VFAS, it shows you the voltage, RSSI is zero because I'm too close. And you'll see here if I lean the, the quad, it actually changes the angle. So that's it guys. Uh, also you got to make sure that you've installed the latest version of the Tarana software uh, because that fixes a lot of the telemetry problems. And uh, hope that uh, helps uh, you guys out there. Uh, if you have any questions, write them down below. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.